Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you how I would do my hair, makeup and outfit if I was going to prom. My prom was like five years ago, which is <laughs> really scary. I went to prom a long time ago and I look back at my prom photos and they're like a time capsule of how I was at the time. I'm very, very different. I have changed a lot. So I thought I would do a look how I would wear my hair, my makeup, my outfit if I was going to prom now. I wanted to go for something that was really versatile that would go with basically any dress. But this is what I looked like at my prom. I wore a ill-fitting red dress. I looked super pale, I had black hair, but just wear what makes you feel amazing, wear what makes you feel comfortable. You don't have to wear this much makeup. If you don't wear a lot of makeup, then don't wear a lot of makeup. Wear what makes you happy, makes you feel good, and you will look amazing. If you guys wanna see how I created this look, then keep on watching. All the products are linked down below. If you are new, please make sure you subscribe, and let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, everybody, this is the before. Let's get started. I've already done my skincare, my brows are already on, and that's the one thing that I don't have any drugstore favorites for brows. You guys know I am gonna start with the Bourjois Healthy Mix Glow Primer. This is such a good dupe for the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum. And I know if you're going to prom, you're like, what, 16? And I know for a fact that when I was 16, I was not about to spend 61 pounds on a primer when this exists and does basically the exact same thing. I did a whole video on this. Now, obviously there will be steps in this that you may not wanna do. You may not wear foundation. You may not do your brows, you know? Obviously the point of this video is how I would do my prom makeup and outfit and everything if I was going to prom today. I went to prom six years ago. No, no, don't say that. It wasn't six years ago. Ooh, wow, it is too early for me to be realizing that. It is 8 a.m. So I'm looking a little bit sleepy. I haven't even had a cup of tea yet today. I am now gonna put on a mattifying primer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer. Um, I'm gonna put this on just in the T-zone. I have dry to combination skin. My skin is not overly oily but you want your makeup to last all day. You want to look glowy in your picture. I mean, if you like glowy skin, if you like matte, then wear matte. But I want to look glowy in my pictures, but I don't want to look greasy or sweaty. So I'm literally just popping this right in the T-zone. Now, a similar sort of concept for the foundation. I'm going to wear a slightly more matte foundation. This is the NYX, there's a hair on it. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Medium Olive. Hopefully this will be an all right color for me right now. So I'll do like a pump of the NYX and then probably half a pump of the liquid highlighter. This will just add a little bit more bronze and a little bit more glow, but it won't affect the longevity, which is what we want. I like a full coverage beat. I like full coverage with glow. If you don't like full coverage, then you don't have to wear full coverage. Wear something a little bit more lightweight. It's a little bit light for me right now, but it's okay, I'll bronze it up. So you can see the texture of this is actually quite matte, which is different for me. But when I'm going to a special event, I wanna be really glowy, but I wanna make sure that that glow is not gonna sabotage me and make my makeup fall apart. Looking back at my prom pictures, I was so pale. Like I fake tanned, but my face was super, Pale. So that's not super heavy. You can still see my blemishes peeking through, but it's just evened out the skin and given it a bit of a glow. I don't want full cake all over. I want full coverage, but thin layers that I can then build on with concealer, which is what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. This is in the shade Latte or Cafe Au Lait. This is such a great dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. When I was at prom, I think was when shot shot. I always say shot. Hilarious. I think that was the time of like the rise of Tarte Shape Tape and I really wanted it, but obviously you could like not get it in the UK. Here you go, you guys. You don't need Tarte Shape Tape. Just go to your good pal L'Oreal and pick up this concealer. It's super duper high coverage. It lasts 
for ages and it's pretty matte. I always like to highlight under my eyes, so I'm gonna take the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer in the shade Light, and I am going to highlight the slightly lighter shade and you're ready to go to prom. Straight after I blend this out, I am going to bake a little bit using the Rimmel, I think it's the Match Perfection, the name has come off. You can see this is well loved by me. It is, in my opinion, one of the best drugstore loose setting powders. It doesn't flash back, it looks great in pictures. It's a good one and it's really, really affordable. So I'm gonna blend and then go straight in with that. Boom. I do just like to let it sit a little bit on my um, nose just to make sure it locks in place. I'm gonna use my Babes palette. I'm gonna use the Soph Times Makeup Revolution Extra Spice palette. I'm gonna go warm, dark, smoky. That just sounds delicious to me right now. I am just gonna put a little bit of powder just under the eye just in case there's any fall down. The first shade I'm gonna take is called Chocolate Orange and it is a beautiful, rich, warm chocolate brown. And this, I'm gonna start by just tapping in the outer corner. The quality of these eyeshadows, you guys, is absolutely wild. They are so, so, so good. And it's such an affordable palette. There are loads and loads of different colors in here that you guys can play with, depending on the color of your dress. I'm just trying to go for a look that I know a lot of people will be able to wear. A brown neutral look will go with a lot of different dresses. So I've just placed the shade. Now all you wanna do is just really work in those edges. We want this look to be seamless. You want your makeup to look the best at prom. If your prom is coming up, I would absolutely love to know what your dress looks like. And if you've already had your prom, if you're like my age, what did you wear to your prom and what would you do differently? To be honest, looking back, I'm like, that was where I was at that age, at that stage. Even on the day, I didn't really like how I looked though. I was like, eh, everything's gone a bit wrong. My dress didn't fit me properly. It was too big for me. Um, my hair was flat and my makeup didn't go right but I still ended up having a super good time. So you can always wanna change things, but at the end of the day, your prom is just about having a good time. And how often do I ever look at my prom pictures? Never. And then next, I'm gonna take Cheesecake, which is a slightly more reddish brown. And I am gonna do basically the exact same thing, but just ever so slightly tighter. And just begin pulling this in through the crease. Okay, next I'm actually gonna go in with the bronzer I'm gonna be wearing. This is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze La Terra Bronzer. I'm not sure if this is still available. I hope it is. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. I'm actually gonna run it along the edges of the eyeshadow. This will just help to slightly tone down the red, but also it will make it blend more seamlessly into the rest of the face. Now I'm gonna go in with brownies, which is a really dark, cool matte brown and this we're gonna start patting on the outer lid this is gonna be the shade that really makes it i might even go in with some black so i'm just starting to buff this through the crease if you find that you're struggling to blend two colors together have two separate brushes, one with each color on that you're trying to blend and just go in between the two. Don't pick up more color, just go in between blending the two with the two different brushes. And then if you need to, you can add a little bit more color once you feel confident. Also start with a little bit of pigment on your brush. Don't go straight in with loads and loads of color and just go dunk because it will cling and then it'll be really hard to blend out. See, I was gonna do an all matte eye, but I'm being sort of tempted by dreams, but I feel like everyone just does a bronze smoky eye for prom, but I think I may have to as well. But if I am gonna do that, I'm gonna take a little bit of reputation, which is the black, and I'm gonna just blend that just on the outer corner, just add even more smoke. Dreams. I don't want loads and loads of shimmer. I wanted to do an all matte look, but maybe a touch. I don't have a drugstore liquid liner, but my favorite one is the NYX Epic Ink Liner, but I'm just gonna take this one from Tarte. 
and I am gonna do the smallest wing, like super tiny. Right, I'm going back in with the black now and I am just, just gonna smoke that in. I feel like the harsh line of the liner is just not vibing with me so much right now. I'm now going to throw on some mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is a really great affordable mascara. It does not budge like at all. Once this is on, it is on and it is on all night and you don't have to worry about it. I went to Superdrug and I tried to find the best looking drugstore lashes and i'm not gonna lie these were super expensive you might as well get some unicorn lashes or something like that because these were more expensive i picked up a couple pairs from isla and i think they were like 19 pounds i'm gonna try them out but honestly save your money i mean i hope these are great but you know isla i thought we were supposed to be an affordable brand oh my god this is so bougie uh, isla they come in like oh and it comes with a little applicator and a glue. They're super light. The band is really thin. Let's try these ones. These are the most wanted in Gimme Gimme. Which do I prefer? Which do you prefer? The lashes I'm gonna wear are the Eyelore Most Wanted in Gimme Gimme. You wanna apply the glue and then let it go tacky and then it sticks so much easier. So while that glue is drying, I'm just gonna wipe away the bake, which has been baking for a hot minute now, but it looks so flawless. I'm also just gonna give my face a little spritz. This is the Flower Beauty Seal The Deal Setting Spray. I'm gonna do a couple spritz. It's such a fine mist. It's a really lovely spray. I've got the worst pins and needles, you guys. So horrible. One thing I was not wearing enough of on my prom was bronzer. Like, I looked so ghostly pale. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Glam Bronze, the one I used on my eyes. And I'm gonna just start with a big brush and do an initial bronze. So over the cheeks, just adding color. Cause I was wearing like a full coverage foundation and I didn't bring back the color or the shape into my face. So I just looked like a little bit of a moon. I also had like black hair. That was my black hair phase. So I was really pale. So even if I wasn't super pale and even if I was wearing bronzer, I did not look like it because my black hair washed me out so horrifically. It was not a look. Emma. See how we're already coming together. I think the lashes have dried. Let me show you. You wanna just place them down as close as they will go to your actual lash line and then just pull and push them until you basically can't see the band anymore. Quite natural. I'm just gonna quickly finish off the eyes. So I'm gonna take chocolate orange and I'm going to smoke it under the eye. You go as smoky under here as you want. I like to pull it and join it to the outer corner. And then finally, brownies. We don't want to go crazy heavy with brownies. We don't want it to be really dark. But I'm literally just putting that right at the root of the lash. You want to go in with one last slick of mascara on the bottom. And to be honest, these top lashes aren't quite big enough for me. I know that, like, you guys, if you don't want to wear lashes, then don't wear lashes. If you only want to wear little lashes, then just wear little lashes. Just wear what makes you guys feel comfortable. If you're scared they're going to, like, fall off or something, then just don't wear them. You don't need to. I obviously wore lashes to my prom because I was wearing a full face of makeup when I was 12. So I had a lot of practice with my lashes by then. But if you're, you know, new to the lash game, then either get your mum to put them on for you or get your friend to put them on for you or, you know, practice a few times before. Just make sure you're comfortable and you're confident. Go over the lash band with my liner just to ensure we don't have any glue. 
There we go. Just because I don't trust anything else, I am gonna contour my nose with Hoola bronzer. I contoured my nose at my prom. I contoured my nose five years ago. Isn't that crazy? Badly, but the fact that I did it blows my mind. So I'm just gonna go back in with that bronzer. I'm gonna blend in my nose contour. Make sure you've got no harsh edges. Bring it down your neck a little bit. Oof. Yes. Okay, the next product might be a little bit controversial. The next product is from Physicians Formula, which you can't get in the UK, but I don't own a nice drugstore dark bronzer. So take a deep contour shade, whatever contour shade you've got, and I'm going to contour my cheeks. Again, don't feel like you have to contour. You don't have to do the whole shebang. You don't have to do a full beat. If you don't wear that much makeup, then just put a bit of mascara, concealer, and lip gloss on if you want. Like, honestly, like I've said a hundred times, just do what makes you feel comfortable. I always put on a slightly more at an event where I know there's gonna be a lot of pictures taken because you want it to translate in photos. Another thing I wish I wore more of is blush. I'm gonna use this one from ColourPop. You can use any blush, whatever tone suits your skin. I'm gonna go for a kind of cool pink. One tip I would give you is wear a little bit more than you think you need. Only a little bit more because blush fades really quickly. So if you put a little bit more on, by the time you get to your prom, it will look normal. Just a pop of color on your cheeks. You see, it just makes me look a little bit more alive. You then wanna go in and set your skin again and once again, I'm going controversial with the highlighter. I would use my soap highlighter palette, but it's at my dad's house right now. So I'm gonna use this one from Physicians Formula. I'm popping this in my inner corner. This looks super pretty in pictures when it just catches the light. Lips, always would have gone for a nude, but I would have used a deeper lip liner. So this is Bite Me from Morphe. And then one of my all time favorite drugstore nudes. This is Driver from Maybelline. It is the perfect nude. It's not too light. It's nice and warm. And I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of a loyalist as well. These guys stay on your lips for such a long time. You could go for a gloss if you want. Do I want? Should I do it? This is the iconic London lip gloss in nearly nude. I probably wouldn't wear a gloss, but if you guys like gloss, and there you go. Finally, my body would be glowing to the gods. So I'm gonna take the highlight. Where is he? My shoulders. A good rule of thumb would be whatever skin is showing needs to match your highlight. You can't just have like a really glowy face and then like a super dull body. You have got to make them match and that is the look this is how i would want to look if i was going to prom today it's a little bit edgy but it's chic it's a little bit sexy but it's fun um i am going to show you my outfit in a second i love this dress it's really simple not crazy expensive yes it's black and i don't know whether people really wear black to prom but i would wear black to prom i wanted to wear black to prom and i ended up wearing red and i regret that so much i wish i just stuck with my guns let me quickly show you my outfit hey guys this is probably the vibe i would go for if i was going to prom i'm kind of obsessed with this dress it was just from asos i know people spend so much money on their prom dress this is probably like 40 pounds or something i love the shape of it it's asymmetrical something a little bit cool it's got a slit Woo. it's like a gorgeous satin fabric it's got quite a deep v so if you aren't confident, sorry, excuse the washing. If you're not overly confident with getting the boobs out or whatever, then, you know, you don't have to get your boobs out. I just love the shape. I love that it's asymmetrical. I love how it moves. So you can be dancing all night with your pals. You can see the detail here. I just think this is stunning. I kind of want to wear this to Tim's graduation. Is it weird to wear black to a graduation? Because he'll be in his gown, so I feel like... I can't wear black. We'll see. And then heels. These are from Boohoo. If I was going to prom again, I would wear super low heels because I personally, if I'm honest, I hate heels. I hate them. So I wouldn't wear them. 
but these ones are really really low they're like little mini heels and they're really minimal so from the front you can't really tell that you're wearing like a tiny heel only from the side jewelry wise all of the jewelry i'm wearing is from regal rose so i've got these little heart dangles this is a chain and then this heart it's something a little bit different i think chains look really really cool and just add a slightly cooler element to the look so i would definitely wear this i love how it comes down with the v i didn't tell my back so don't judge me but the back is really cool as well and then the other option is going for a cool statement boot I'm not telling you to go out and buy a pair of Gucci boots, okay? But any boots that make you feel amazing, that you're comfortable in. I think these boots are killer with this dress. This is the outfit I wanna wear to Tim's graduation. I think I wanna wear it with the boots. So this is how I would want to look if I was going to prom. I really hope you guys like this look. Let me know what you're wearing to prom, what you wore to prom. Just an exciting day. I hope you have an amazing time at your prom. Just have fun with your friends. Don't worry too much about how you look. I know it seems like the most important thing in the world, but honestly, just have a good time. I've linked all the products I've used down below. They are all super affordable. Um, so if you wanna pick them up in time for your prom, they are all linked down below for you. And Please subscribe if you are new. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you think one of your friends would like this look for their prom, make sure you send this video over to them and let them know. And yeah, I hope you have the best day and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.